I must be the pot calling the kettle black. Hypocritically thinking, but justifying the fact that I had to drop you and finally cutting you out of my life for blatant dishonesty towards me. But yet, I wasn't very honest towards you. But why put my energy in playing catch up with you when you were pushing me away? Avoiding me like we have never met. But learning that another woman got your undivided attention. Thanks to you keeping secrets and me finding out about your love life on Facebook. Via you revealing your lady's name and her putting her dating business out in the streets. Why keep that from me, bestie? I know my energy sounds like jealousy, but I am grown. My feelings are not your responsibility. So tell me, laying on me that you are finally getting some pussy, bestie? Every opportunity you had a chance to tell me that you were fucking a heartbreaker. Maybe you were afraid of my raw and realness about the bitch's past and how she dogged you. But who am I kidding? The contradiction is that the woman I'm seeing again is an addiction, a guilty pleasure, a woman who you cannot stand, but I never had a chance to tell you. I tell you everything, but again, you pushed me away at the worst time. I shouldn't have to find out about your tea just hours before the five-year anniversary of my mom's passing. And you know how we are about our moms. Fucked up timing, bestie. Fucked up timing. I'm not jealous. Really, I'm not. I think I'm just fed up with how you tend to dismiss me. Even when past feelings for you were running so deeply. Even when we were zoning in the world of friendly. But seriously, what the fuck does that heifer have that I don't? Wait, don't answer that. Just be happy. And don't let that bitch fuck you, Tony. <laughs> don't fuck me, Tony. Don't you ever try to fuck me. <laughs> Insider. But seriously, be happy. Goodbye.